we hand make headphones here. The headphone market has become extremely competitive. We're very proud of the product we turn out. We live in our own little world here, and when we travel outside, there are people trying to figure out how we do what we do. Grado has been in this building since 1953. Yes. Okay. We've owned the building since 1918. We tend to do around 150,000 headphones a year. We have around 18 to 20 people. Our building's kind of split up in to different functions on different levels. So when you first walk in, it's our office space. Behind there, we wind the coil for the cartridges and come up with the little parts that go into the headphone. The basement is where we assemble the cartridges and then we mold the parts of the headphone. Then you go up to the second floor, there is the headphone assembly, so that's all the fun stuff. And then up here is basically the dining room and living room <laughs> turned into a listening room. I see it as the building I grew up in. There's part of me that gets envious when you see the bigger buildings and it's like, wow, they have a giant white room and here we have narrow hallways and sometimes you wish there were elevators in here. But we get the job done and it kind of adds to the story. So you're on your third series of headphones since 1990 was the first 1991. one? 1991. 91. Do you only change stuff with major revisions? Major revisions. We find okay. something that works. We don't come out with a new headphone just to say we have a new headphone. We wait till there's an improvement that's worth putting out there. This is our machine shop. It's in the basement of the building. We bought this stuff back probably 50 years ago. and When we yeah. bought it, it was second hand. <laughs> This was the empty housing. Okay. This is how it starts. Okay. Headphones and analog phonograph cartridges and turntables are the hot items. <laughs> we got lucky. <laughs> this is the phono cartridge production. Yeah, these are the parts put together. So how do you test one? All right. Over here, they also mount the diamonds. His name's oh, Killer. She's going to get some parts and you're going to make a headphone. All right. Mentally preparing here. All righty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a driver. See? Yes. Mm -hmm. You push it down. Okay. It's just okay. We're gonna put this liquid in between here. Oh boy, okay. So, oh, you left hand. Yes, I am. The this side also? Yes, uh -huh. Mess everything up here. So we press it down to make sure that it's pre solder Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Our next step is the cable. Okay. To mount it and then push the wire in there for the test. Ooh. It's an even sound. It's like an ominous tone. The okay. Where do I start? You can Doesn't matter. I'm messy at this. Before it dries, mm -hmm. and let this thing guide. Those when they're packing. Mm -hmm. The one side, the one hole, and then just like. Get it on. They're complete now. Yeah. All right. I don't know about my craftsmanship here. You badly made headphones by, by me. <laughs> Everyone gets tested? Yes. Wow. Intensive. So everything over here we've had for years mm -hmm. and we use it as our starting point. So if we were to change one thing, we would need to figure out what the baseline is again. We know what sound we like and we know when it's improved mm -hmm. and we know when it's not improved. We usually listen to a little bit of Eric Clapton, some Ella Fitzgerald, some Duke Ellington. Sound really good. The lowest singer is like so clean. These are unreleased Grado towers from the early 90s. Oh. A bit of a burden to take inventory of. This is 32 headphone drivers, headphones that make a speaker. Okay. What we don't produce in this building is the wood, the metal, and the drivers. The drivers are our design, but we just don't have the room in this building. 1964 was the year you stopped advertising. Coming in and heading up marketing, with the zero dollar ad budget. You kind of have to get creative. But our main source of um, getting the word out there has been word of mouth for decades. John Mayer likes our headphones a lot. 
me know that Neil Young likes our headphones, but none of that is any type of paid promotion. It's that nice feeling that they want to use them. Mm -hmm. It's a good feeling that <laughs> my dad will come home and be like, oh, we found out this person used our headphones, <laughs> and then we'll have dinner and watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's our night, so. <laughs>